Hey there, welcome back. This is Bug Powder Dust, and thank you for joining me for episode 8 of RimWorld. In yesterday's episode, uh, we did a lot of consolidating, got some solar panels up, and I couldn't help but notice that this dark area here, yep, it's a roof. So I'm not going to make my mistake from last time, I'm going to uh, unzone that right now before I forget. Um, remove, uh, create a no roof region. There we go. So all this is going to be out in the open. Because otherwise, what's the point of having solar panels? Okay, great. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is uh, going to hollow out this area here. So we've got a really big inside area. Um, this has been bugging me for some time. And no doubt the colonists don't like having um, such little space. So I'm going to do a bunch of mining in here. Seeing as everything else has been pretty much done now. Um, let's do it to there. That's nice and neat and tidy. And hopefully we'll get more metal as we do it. Because there is some metal here. Which is good. Um, batteries are building up nicely. Just need some more metal for this solar panel, which will never be completed because they can't actually get to it. So that's rather silly of me, isn't it? Uh, let's get some mining. Let's mine that area out here. And we'll get somebody to treat that as a priority. Um, Mitchell, can you come and mine here, please? Ah, oh, industrial trader. Okay, let's see what they got to offer. Now, I was watching another um, playthrough by uh, somebody else, I can't remember who, and they seem to get the person with the best wardening to go and speak to the... Um, was it wardening? Or maybe it was social, I can't remember which. The person with the best social social skills to talk to the passing starships, I guess you get a better price, which kind of makes sense, really. Um, so, I mean, that's not the right one. Let's go to character. Social is six. Uh, social 1, social 3, social 2, chef, social 3. What's social 6? Is it Mitchell? Tasha. Yay, Tash. Right, Tash. Go and speak to the industrial traders, please. Okay. Right. What have we got to sell them? Well, they can have the ball skin pants, as I'm concerned. Um, simple prosthetic leg. Mm, okay. The wooden pistol, don't want to sell those, not yet. They also have metal. How much metal have they got? It's cheap, is it? Well, we could do with, we could always do with metal. Even though we've got a lot, I'm tempted to just buy some. Um, let's take 200. Gold. We were getting five, five bucks plus for gold, weren't we? So I'm actually tempted to um, just hang on to that for now, I think. What I am going to do though, as I keep forgetting to turn my damn phone onto silent. Um, okay, so that's fine. Let's let's do that. Let's buy some metal. What else have they got to offer us? Stone blocks, and that's cheap as well. A bit loath to buy stone blocks. So let's just go with that for now. Okay, brilliant. Right. So Mitchell's cracking on through there, which will mean that we can finish off this now. Um, these turrets are okay for now. Do I want to leave those there to slow them down as they come in? I'm still debating whether to put a turret here and here, so they've got like multiple layers of defences. The trouble is, if you put it here, they've only got one person firing. Uh, sorry, one turret firing. If they blow that turret up, then they've got a gap here they can get through. So I'm not convinced that's such a good idea. Let's make them come round and then face uh, one, two, three, four, five turrets. That's probably a better idea. Right, everyone's sleeping. I think... Oh, what have we got going on? Eclipse. Meh. We're going to get a raid at the same time, aren't we? I can feel it. This is probably a good time now, I think, to um, build this geothermal plant and run a conduit up here, because this is... These eclipses are a pain in the neck, frankly. I'm going to wait till this is done. This is mined out. What I'm going to do though, we've got plenty, well not plenty of wood, we've got some wood. I'm going to, um, let's check out the power here. So we've got power conduits. Yeah, that all looks alright. We don't have to build everything with power conduits though. A bit of a waste, just have it maybe running down the middle. So what I'm going to do here is um, just build wooden walls, normal wooden walls. A little bit cheaper on the old cost of building. Local monkey. Okay, well, don't really care about that for now. Actually, I should, maybe I should care about it. Who is it? Chef. Is that, that's the mad 
Right, okay, great. Um, and the monkey's punching him. Burn. Chef actually wants to go there. Dude, that's it. Now I'll fire the monkey. Pan. Go here. Chef, why, 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 don't, why not fire? Can you fire, do you think? Oh, because this fire's being interrupted. Okay, ready attack. Come on. It's a monkey. <sighs> right. Pan. No, not fire. Can you just... What's up? Hang on, let's check out what's up with Chef. So he's been knocked out, basically. Bruise, 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 bruise. Fine. Tasha, can you come and do something here? No, 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 absolutely not. Tasha, come and... Can you merely attack the monkey from back here, maybe? There we go, monkey's knocked out, fine. Pan, rescue chef. Tasha. Tasha. Punch this monkey out. I don't know if he'll wake up and um, carry on um, attacking. There we go. Alright, let's haul him back. And. Oh, there we go. Cool. I'll come pick up the pistol shortly. Alrighty. So, mining's going on quite nicely. Let's crack on with the wooden walls. Oh, no, fat fingers. Okay, let's uh let's get some floor in as well. Wooden floor. Structure, wooden wall. Yep, some there, some there, and some there. Awesome. Lots of metal coming from here, which is absolutely superb. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This this is cash my all the time, so I'm just going to get rid of that uh, planning detail there. There you go. And I need to get some concrete down just round the outside of here. Let's make it look nice. And we're also going to extend out the rooms here as well, just to make those a bit bigger. Actually, let's cancel that. Let's make it look neat and tidy. Oh, yes, of course. Um, it's Pan's bed. Pan, come here and rest until fully healed. Thank you very much. Awesome. Okay. Alright, so the mining here has been done more or less, um, which is good. And we're going to run, we're going to build a geothermal plant because we've got tons of metal now. Put a geothermal plant down here. But what we're going to do is, I think we're going to do this in a smart way. Um, we haven't got much in the way of concrete blocks, so let's get some of those built. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Stone cuts table, builds. Let's unsuspend that and crank that right up. So we want lots and lots of 
Raid. Mechanoids. Crap. I actually right clicked it rather than left click it, so I didn't actually see where they were coming from. Mm. Ooh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, there you go. It's three of them. Okay. Alright, have we got any gaps that we need to plug, first of all? No gaps. No gaps in the walls. No gaps in the walls. New. Nope. Cool. We can add them to the list of mechanoid people here. Alright, cool. So. Is everybody armed? Armed. Libby is armed. Chef, not armed. Okay. That is unfortunate. Is there any guns lying around? We really. Sh oh, there we go. Right, Chef, can you come and equip pistol, please? Okay, cool. Pan is armed. Ford and Mitchell, all armed. Okay, brilliant. Right. Can we fire over the top of a turret? What are we going to find out? Come on in, you guys. Right, let's get everybody drafted. Let's move into here. Right, okay. Chef, I need you to go up here. Ford, over there. Mitchell. you got the M24. So I would like you to be at long range if possible, so I want you to be about there. Libby, you're going to be there. Tasha, you're also long range. Put you behind here. Mm. Nah, that's not right. I don't want to go there. Mitchell, there. Tash, hopefully they'll stop around about here. Um, okay, let's do this. Come on in, boys. Let's see how this goes. Mechanoid attack. Right, let's slow this down. I'll we'll have to do some micromanagement here. Okay, so it's not firing. Maybe they can't fire over the tops of... Well, no, they can, because they are. Who's he aiming at? Chef move. Can you fire from here? From here. Well, that went rather well. Awesome. Liking it. Great. So we've got one guy incapacitated and the other two clean dead. That is good. Like it. Well done, boys. Well done. And girls, actually. Well done, everybody. Okay. Well, let's um, make sure they can be used. They don't drop any weapons, sadly, but uh, that's okay. Need to get some repairs up. Um, where's repairing, repairing, repairing? Let's make sure everyone can repair kind of as a priority. So we need to get... oh, we need food. It's uh, how are we doing here? To 35. Okay, so we're going to start cooking more food. That's good. So, um, I think I saw somebody do this. You go to modifications, add bill, and... Well, you can remove parts, can you? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. And then finally shut down. See how that works. I've never done that before. Um, now, we can take these guys apart, but I don't think we've done the research for it. So you have to... Uh, is it electric smelting? No, it's one of these. Machining. Yeah, here we go. Building machine to disassemble dead mechanoids into usable metal. Not a huge priority at the moment, so that's not a big deal. Is anybody here not wearing a hat? Mitchell, you're not wearing a hat. You really should, you know. I'm going to wake you up to the gate to do it. Says so not medical. Okay, brilliant. That went rather well. So, so the panelling back up. That attack did happen at night, but we did have some battery power, so that really um, was in the nick of time. If we didn't have those turrets, that could have been quite bad. Okay, so they're doing the repairs. Brilliant. So that's all working quite nicely. So is he going to do the remove the body part? Oh, okay, let's have a look at this then. How does this work? And what do we get, more importantly? I'm guessing a knife of some sort. 
let's have a look. Cannot haul. Okay, so we clearly haven't uh, configured this to store corpses um, for mechanoids. No. Okay, let's do that. I'm just curious as to what's going to happen here. So what's he got then? He's got a body part. Oh, that's flipping cool. So now he goes back and gets another body part. A scythe and knife protrusion. What, do we, what can we do with this? Hand replacement. Oh, it's a hand replacement. So it's good for brawlers. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Very cool indeed. Um, okay, well let's make sure that we've... Now, um, we've got body parts here. So, scythe and knife protrusion. Okay, great. That is very cool indeed. So that's two, and then presumably once you shut the guy down, which is what you're doing now, that's the third one, they're going to haul his body away. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for radio colony. That's too good. Right, okay, good. Okie dokie. Now, next thing to do is going to be making stone bits and pieces. We are a bit short on slag chunks though, but we have got some here to make with. Some out here as well. I'm thinking we should just expand our colony now, make it a little bit bigger. Maybe this here, this corner. Um, but for now, I want to get this geothermal up because that's really quite uh, making me quite scared that we could have a real problem at night with these turrets not being up. And I'm guessing mortars don't need power, which is cool. So that's that's all good. Um, right. Okay. So I want to start building a stone wall down to here so we can get the power up. And I'm only doing that just to protect the uh, power conduit which is going to be running. <sighs> I've got lots of metal now, which is really good, but not enough. Why is nobody crafting? Have I just turned it off completely? Tasha should be crafting as a priority. What is she doing? Tasha, Tasha, Tasha. Where is Tasha? What are you doing? You're hauling. No. Why are you hauling? You're hauling, but you should be doing crafting. Why is that? Have I not done something properly here? No. Okay. What I'm going to do then, Tasha, I need you to... Oh, because Chef's doing it. Okay, fine. I've got no problem with that. Right, so let's uh, let's get some planning up here. Plans need to run a straight line, basically, like so. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a uh, structure, deconstruct, hole in the wall, like that, and I'm going to get structure, the speed's up, come on, there we go. Now I'm going to get um, structure, stone blocks, I did choose stone blocks, enough. yep, I'll run that down, also here as well. I know it's a long way away, it's not ideal. We've got four of them working on it, so that should be fine. As I said, it's not the ideal way to um, to really to <laughs> use power, but geothermals are so far away. I knew this would be a problem right from when we set up the colony, if you remember right at the start. Um, it was just a risk I had to take. But as it turns out, we've been okay with solar for now. And the batteries have got a decent store for night. What I'm going to do though is turn off the lights in the rooms that aren't occupied. So let's turn that off. Turn that off. Because the more we turn off, the more we've got to um, have stored in the batteries. Okay, structure. Uh, wood. Bosch, Bosch. Bosch, Bosch, Bosch. There we go. And then a little bit of wooden flooring. Where are we? Floors. Wooden floors. There we go. Cool. So that's the rooms done. Now, these peeps really need to crack on with this wall. I want to get this finished before the next raid. So we're looking okay for food. Tasha's doing the stone cutting. Great. Right, power, geothermal. Let's get that up. I want to get concrete floor. around this and I need just spot I need to do something else as well. What 
we'll need to do is basically um, deconstruct. Uh, where are we? Yeah, sorry, cancel. Even cancel that and put the stone blocks around like this. Like so. Okay, good. Floors. Concrete. That. Great. That is awesome. And then we'll yeah, the, so the fire can't jump, I don't think, over three squares. The nearest fire I can get is here. I don't think it can jump three squares, so that's pretty good. And we'll get these trees cleared as well. But the most important thing is it gets perimeter up. So stone making is carry on. We need to expand this stockpile, or in fact move it. Pan? What's wrong with Pan? Why are you mental break? What's going on here? Hungry? Rotting corpse? Crapped environment? I saw a rotting corpse laying on the ground. That must be from previously, okay. Cramped environment. We've made your room bigger. We'll eat then. There's no shortage of food. Okay, just a whiner. There we go. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. Lovely. Just a long way to haul the stone, isn't it? Batteries are almost full. That's superb. Good, good. Slave trader. Not massively of interest, but I'm curious to see if they are going to. Tasha, can you come and talk to the slave traders, please? They want to buy any of these. Um, I was wondering if they were going to buy the uh, the parts we got off the mechs, but looks like they don't. Oh, yes, they do. Scythe and knife protrusion. Oh man, yes, please. That's <laughs> that's awesome. Nine hundred seventy-seven bucks. That's me minted. Okay, great. In which case, we can probably afford to buy. Let's buy afford to buy one, so we still make a profit. Um, so we've got Chef Dude. He's into incapable. <laughs> God, is there anything he can do? Man, I don't want him. A shipwright. What does a shipwright do? Well, something to do with making ships, obviously. But so let me get this straight. He's a shipwright. Terror what? But he can't do crafting. Well, that's completely useless. And what's the last one? Scout. Scout. Incapable of caring. Does that mean it can't do medic stuff? I wonder. Let's have a look. Let's be doctoring disabled. Yeah, I've been burnt by that before where this person who can't do doctoring is the only one left and everyone else is injured. And that actually turns out to be quite bad. So we don't want any of those guys. Thank you very much. Um, is there anything here that we can potentially sell? No, no, no. A bit more gold, maybe. Metal. Have they got medical mid kits? They do. How many have I got left? None. Okay. Well, we'll take ten. I'm still make a nice profit. Okay, good. Cool. So I've got med kits now. That always makes me breathe a little bit easier. What's this? Desiccated cobra. Okay. This guy's walking all the way around. Why would you do that? There you go. Holding a pistol. Oh, that's what's setting him off. He's seen the, the dead body, isn't it? Is that set him off again? Oh, it's not a rotting corpse, it's bones. Damn. Anyway. Okay, good. So this is going very well. Let's get rid of the planning line, because we don't need that anymore. Okay. We really need to get this finished. I don't know why we're storing the metal here. We've given this critical, I think, haven't we? That was never what we want the stockpile for. What did the stockpile for corpses? Did we? Allowed buried? No, that's that's no good at all. We don't want it for that. That's rubbish. We wanted it for items. AI percent of corn, you're a trainer. Manufactured resources. What? Yeah, we wanted for foods primarily, but I think what's happened here is we've actually allowed it to be to metal to put there, so we don't want that. We want metal in here. That's going to get moved in the end. Okay. Pan, where are you going? Oh, you're moving the uranium. Oh, the uranium, I remember that. Yeah, okay, that's cool. That's fine. No problem with that. Great. Good, good, good. Good. Getting this sorted out. Excellent. And I'm thinking, what can we do next? How's 
The research. Yeah, we took somebody off that, didn't we? There were other priorities. Batteries are full. That's really good. Really, really good. Mm. Happy about that. A hunter of the king from... Oh, right, okay, fine. Whatever. We've still got loads. Actually, no, we're getting through our potatoes, but we've got more stock coming through. Strawberry plants. I read somewhere, actually... Is that a pan again? Forget him. I read somewhere that um, building cotton... Oh, sorry, building. Growing cotton is actually really good. Um, you actually make really nice profits from it. So I'm going to do that. Uh, where are we? Zone. Growing zone. We'll get a growing zone in here. Um, is there a better place for it? Let's put it in here for now. Oh, that's interesting. So we can't use this as a growing zone because it's just rough stone. So we need fertiliser pumps, don't we? That's what we need. That's what we're kind of doing there. But the desperation's gone now, so let's get researching. Ten, three, 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 three. Okay, let's get um, Ford back to researching. Not so bothered about mining anymore. Doctoring is always the number one. Where's Ford? Does he sleep? Yeah, okay. Almost done. So Ford should go to the research bench. When he wakes up. Go. Go on, Ford. Eat. Yeah, of course, have breakfast, by all means. There we go. So Ford's researching fertilizer pump. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this into fertile land. I'll make this a growing area. Okay, cool. Right. So these guys should finish this today. Mitchell, are you bringing stone? Haha, <laughs> listen to that excellent sound. Tasha? So Tasha's going outside to get stones now. Yeah, that's not great, is it? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a hole in the wall down here, though. Uh, just to make it easy enough to walk all the way through. Tasha, where are you going? No, put a hole in the wall. Tasha. Prioritise. There we go. Okay. That's good. Let's finish this wall off. Come on. <coughs> now, what I need to do is get more graves dug. So, because th there's going to be more, and to be honest, we're always going to need them. I'd rather get them done ahead of time when there's not a great deal going on. So let's um, upgrade some there. Chef, you can dig these, can't you? You're not a constructor. Okay. Libby, what are you doing? You're eating. Don't care. Work on the grave. Cool. Fertilizer pump. That's cool. Gun turret cooling, I think, is the next one. So let's get a fertilizer pumps up in here. We're going to have to run some power, though. Um, From probably from up here. I'm guessing there's power conduit here, yeah. Okay. Where do you run it from? Let's put a hole in this wall. Um, mining. Hole in the wall. Get rid of that as well. Oh, not much left now. Let's finish this. Which way are you going? No, no, no. I want to Work on the wall, please. Let me wait to work on the wall as well. Oh, we're out of stone blocks. So we're basically making stone blocks and using them straight away. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Looks like it needs to be no roofed. Uh, create no roof region. Yeah. Because it looks like there's some shadows on the solar panelings there, which is no good. 
bring on your eclipse. I've got a geothermal. It's not up yet, of course. And I'm going to put some um, concrete down here as well. Or should I put wood? I could do a metal walkway, couldn't I? It's um, going to be quicker. And I've actually got metal in stock. It takes three per tile. Wood is one. Let's do concrete. Come on, we need this wall done. Yep, this is good. And what I'd like to do actually, you've only got so much stored power, so let's turn these lights off. I don't care, people are going to be in the dark, it's not a problem. We need to save this battery just in case any bad people come by. Is there any kind of draw on this? Well, there appears to be. What's draw? Oh, the turrets. Okay, they'll prepare for a while and attack. They've rolled in drop pods nearby, where are they? Damn, there's a lot of them. M24, M24, EMP, Molotov, Uzi, Uzi, Pistol. Okay, the good news is that at least two or three of them are armed with M24s. I don't like the EMP grenades because I'm guessing they are going to shut off the turrets. Now, I've turned everything off. So they are still losing store, but only very gradually. What's still drawing power? That's still drawing power. I can go off. Um, what else is still drawing power? The cooker. Go off. Butch table doesn't take power, because you've got plenty of meals for now. How about now? Good. So they're still very slowly losing power, but I'm, only, well, I'm guessing that's like a natural... Can you work on this wall? like a natural draw so that's fine. I really don't need them coming in from up here, that'd be very very bad indeed. Maybe construct this wall, come on. That's it. Finish, finish, finish. When Libby finishes the wall, okay perfect. Now what I'm gonna do good if we get this dude visiting now he's can be out of Antisa um, and he he doesn't like the rest stop force pines or the shadow jaguars and I think these are the shadow jaguars so he might be able to help us where is this guy? oh he's coming from exactly the, the other side and is he armed with a short bow? okay fine he might be able to help us he might not I'm more concerned about these guys the EMP grenades however we have stored battery we're in good shape all our guys are armed we need to plug this gap um, so what I'm going to do before I forget, and this is going to be it for today, we'll leave this on a cliffhanger. I'm going to um, block up Stonewall, and I'm going to get Tasha to work on this straight away. That'd be the treat. Come on, block it. Yeah, gun turrets cooling his research just in time, so it's going to fire four shots to the three. That's got to help. Um, what are we going to get up now? Don't care about any of this particularly machining. This is all a bit of crap, isn't it? Electric smelters to get you smoke from slag chunks and other items. Well, that can't hurt. Let's get that. Why is this not being plugged? Tasha, what are you doing? Oh. Okay. Come on, plug plug the gap. Right. You need everyone back in. They're beginning their attack. Pan, I don't know what you're doing, but I need you I need you here. Tasha. I need you to do this. Come on. Plug the wall. They're beginning their attack. They've got a long way to come, haven't they? Oh, look. They're firing the dude. They killed him. Gids. Oh, no. It's Chef. Chef was outside. No. I made a really big mistake. <laughs> I was missing one. No, not Chef. He was really good. I just gunned him down. Scumbags. Sorry, mate. You weren't even drafted, so you didn't put up any kind of fight. They will pay. They will pay in blood. On that bombshell, this is the end of this episode. Poor Chef. Rest in peace, mate. I'll make sure you're buried nicely afterwards. We will get revenge for you.
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take care out there. Cheers. Bye.